Hey everyone, welcome to another Facebook Live. I'm Jeff Palmer, CEO and founder of Clean Machine. And uh, today <laughs> is this week, actually, this coming week in four days, I will be celebrating my 36th year uh, living as a vegan. So yeah, that's a long time. Hey, I, I've met people 50 years or more that have been vegan. And look, this is this is not a contest. <laughs> this is not a competition. I don't win any brownie points. Uh, the reason I, you know, keep track of this because it's important to me. I love going to vegancalculator.com. If you haven't been there, it's it's really interesting to type in how long you've been vegan and see what impact one person can have in animal lives, in pollution, in uh, environmental impact, that your food choices can make such a huge difference, um, not only in your own health, but in the health of the planet, the health of the animals for sure. So I love celebrating each year that, that I've contributed to less suffering in the world. And that's where I come from in all of this. You know, when I say this is not a competition, I want people to know that I've been a vegan for 36 years to one, show that, hey, you don't need animals to, to survive. 36 years, I'm in perfect health and I'm 58 years old. I just turned 58 in January. So, you know, this is, this is I want to be that example to show that people, yes, even long, long term, you can thrive on a plant-based diet and and you can do it in a way that really contributes to a whole lot less suffering we're we're talking about over two trillion animals two between two and three trillion animals land and sea that are killed every year just for human taste buds that's it it's just that little tiny cells on our tongue that's why we kill two to three trillion animals every single year because of a couple of a couple of cells on our tongue really i mean that's that's mental illness <laughs> i'm sorry to say it like that but I, I think it's important to be point blank when you understand that perspective and look uh, you know, I was not vegan for a, a portion of my life. Um, it's up to 1985. And, but when that light bulb came on, I know a lot of you have felt betrayed, right? How come I didn't, how come I, how come I didn't get that? You know, you, you question your own, like, why, why wasn't that obvious to me? You know, all the packaged foods are hidden. We're disconnected from the act of slaughter. And I feel like if people actually had to kill their own animals um, and, and, and rape the cows to get the milk, you wouldn't do that. Most normal, healthy, mentally sane people would not do that. Um, but th that process is so far removed that all you see is a milk carton or a, a shiny powdered egg in the grocery store. You don't see the horrors that go on in factory farming, which is the vast majority of food production today. So I, look, uh, I am not here to, you know, make anyone feel bad or feel wrong about what they are doing because I was there. I, and I think most vegans, with the exception of some people like Tahina Malik, who's been vegan since birth, and she got a great head start thanks to her parents. So blessings to any of you out there who had such a beautiful start and can live a, a whole life without that. But a lot of this come to us uh, as we learn from social media. Thank God for the internet and social media. Back in 1985, there was no, <laughs> there was no viable internet for uh, basic lay people. Um, and so I, there wasn't the books that are out. There weren't, there weren't any movies that I know of back then out in 1985. Um, but I made this change because I really just turned on the light bulb inside myself um, and saying, I don't want to cause any more suffering. I went through tremendous amounts of emotional and mental suffering uh, with, with suicidal depression. Uh, I lost my mother, my father, my brother at an early age. And it just felt like my whole world was collapsing in on me. I, I couldn't figure out how to deal with it. And I turned to drugs and alcohol and 
and of course that just made the whole situation worse when i had some met someone who helped talk me back into and through that pain i felt such an overwhelming gratitude and thankfulness for being released from my own pain i said how can i pay this forward and in meditation uh, like my friend monk did we came to this conclusion just just stop stop causing stop being a cause of suffering to other beings who just want to live here on this planet that's all they want you know this the shirt says uh, go vegan and nobody gets hurt of course it's a funny double entendre but that's really what it's about that no one meaning the animals will get hurt um, when we make different choices because all the animals suffer whether it's eggs or dairy or meat or honey or any of the other animal products there is at least some degree of animal suffering and most often death um, an early death a horrible death fearful deaths by the animals and it's just totally unnecessary 36 years vegan <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in the best shape of my life no drugs no medications no no anything no health problems at all blood pressure <laughs> perfect you know my my heart rate's great my sleep patterns are awesome my everything working well which is awesome and i wish that for everyone you know i wish that for every human individual to live a full healthy happy life that's why it's so important for me to talk about being vegan because i want your happiness i want you to live the healthiest suffering free life you can possibly live and i know that when we change our diets that this can contribute to it look i my my father passed at 48 my mother in her 50s my brother and both of my brothers actually before the age i'm at now so that's four family members that died before the age I'm at right now. And I'm living the best part of my life right now. What did they miss out just because they simply chose one food group over another? Just because they chose meat and dairy and eggs over fruit, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds? Really? They, they tossed away half of their potential life? They, they suffered through their life towards the end with disease states because of that food choice? Is it really worth that? You know, I was talking to a guy in the gym and uh, and he was asking me why vegan and stuff. And and I said, I said, you got, because he had pictures of his kids on there, two beautiful daughters, uh, young daughters, like preteens and uh, 10, 10, 12, 14, somewhere on there. And and I said, you, you must really love them. You keep them right on your desk. He goes, they mean everything to me. And I said, next time you pick up a hamburger, and you know, based on the science, that that could lead to a heart attack. Look into your daughter's eyes and say, this hamburger is more important to me than me being alive and being here for you to support you, to watch you grow up, to cheer you on at your sporting events, to see you married, to see your grandchildren, to my grandchildren, your children. Is that burger really that important to give up all of that? Ask yourself that. Look into their eyes and say, because, you know, I that was the crux of my breakthrough was I got to the point where the anger that just exploded out of me and burst into tears was why my father chose not to be here when I needed him most. I needed his support. I needed his guidance. I was in my late teens, off to college. That's when he decides to exit. When I was 18, he exited my life. I didn't get a father for the rest of my life since I was 18 years old. For the last 40 years, I didn't get a father. He chose something else instead of me. And man, I was carrying so much anger for that. I, thankfully, I've forgiven him for that. I see that he made those choices because he was suffering. He couldn't figure out how to make sense out of life. So I don't blame him for his choices, but I sure wish he was here. I sure wish he was here to celebrate my victories with me. And I want you to be here too for your children, for your 
your spouse, for the people who love and care about you. Be there for them. That's the best gift you have to give the people who love you, is a healthy you. So I, I, want, you, I want you to have that, to give to them. That's, that's the most joy you're going to get out of life, I think, is being there for the people you love and the people who love you back. <laughs> There's nothing greater than that on this planet. There's no human experience greater than that love. And that's all veganism is about, is just extending that circle of love, not only to yourself and your immediate family and your pets. You, most people extend that love to their pets, but do you extend it even further to include other animals? They all want to live. They all have families. They don't want to suffer just like you. We technically are animals, just like everybody else in the animal kingdom. We all hurt. We all feel pain. We all dream. We all move. We all love. We all have children. We're a family. We're one big family. Why are we taking that away? Simply to please taste buds? For God's sake. That's, that's sick when you think about that. That's not right. So the reason I went into fitness is because I said, okay, well, if I had such a powerfully positive breakthrough that helped me in my life and helped me live the best life I possibly could, of course, I want to share that with other people. But how do I get people to make some changes? Well, be a good example. And I think everybody out there who is really wanting to be their best is, is going to be a beaming example. You know, when I made that change, I was sitting in a bar, I was drinking myself to oblivion, as I always did in the, in the midst of my depression. And, uh, and a woman walked in the bar and she was so happy. She was just beaming. And I'm like, I just walked up to a total stranger. I'd never seen her, met her before. But I saw her energy. I saw how happy she was. I just literally walked right up to her and said, how do I get like that? What is it that you have? I want it. I want to feel like I see you. And she was the one who introduced me to the healer that talked me in through that pain and helped me release that pain. So be that example, be that shining light for other people. But to do that, you got to put good stuff in this body and plants heal. Plants are medicine. Animal products kill. They are a cause of death to the animals. They're a cause of harm to the environment. They are a cause of physical harm to our own bodies. Why would you want all that negativity? Why would you want to destroy your own body, your brain? Why would you not want to be here for the people who love you? Why? <laughs> that's, the, that's the easy question. And when you come to that answer, that light bulb moment can come on and boom, everything can shift. You want to do more. You want to do better. You want to share it with other people. It's a beautiful thing to want to give positive experiences to other people. So I, I want to thank some of the people that have been major influences in my life over the 36 years. I've experienced and met so many amazing people, and not just because they're vegan, because they extend that compassion. When you, there are two people, kinds of people I see in the world, those who are focused more on service to self and those who are more focused on service to others. Some people get gratitude and get a positive experience out of what I get out of life, right? And, and for me, I feel so much more reward for what I give to others in life. That's why I do what I do. If I wanted to make money, I would not be doing this. <laughs> Seven years of, of doing Clean Machine, I could have made 10, 20, 50, 100 times more dollars if I was all about the money. I'm not. I'm about trying to bring the best nature has to offer to people to improve your health. When I, when I get calls, when I get emails from people telling me how the products have so improved their health, their fitness levels, their mood even, I mean, clearing up so many different health challenges for people just by using these amazing plants. I don't take credit for them. The plants are the heroes. 
but I'm going to bring these plans to market where other companies won't because they're so focused on profits. I'm not. The profits I get are the smiles I see on people's faces. The profits I get are hearing the stories about people's health improving. That's rewarding to me. But some of the other things that are rewarding to me is through this company, I've been able to do a lot of giving back, giving back to nonprofit organizations like Elephant Aid. 3% of every transaction that comes through our website goes to Elephant Aid to support the, these amazing African groups out there. But some of them are completely women groups, empowering women to save other animals and extending that circle of love to the elephants, protecting them from poachers and things like that. Beautiful organization. Look up Elephant Aid. It's an awesome organization. Every single transaction that comes through our website, we donate 3% to Elephant Aid. Food for Life Global. Oh my God. When I met uh, Rodney Paul, he was such an amazing light in my life. And he has done such an incredible thing. Um, we've given over 6,000 meals, uh, purely plant-based vegan meals to hungry children all over the world. What a blessing that is just to be in a position to be able to do that. We do month, we do quarterly give backs to nonprofits. Oh God, like my friends, uh, Yvonne and Julian over at Dharma Bear. What a beautiful thing they do in an animal rescue. And, and one we've got coming up that uh, one of our athletes, Ella Magers, is involved in Hogs and Kisses. I so look forward to doing that one coming up soon uh, next quarter. I love being able to give back, to be able to contribute good in this world. That's what being vegan means to me. And all of the amazing people from our very first sponsored athlete, um, Tori Washington, Will Tucker, Chad Byers, Jahina Malik, vegan since birth. What a tremendous athlete she is. Uh, Mindy Collette, Chad Byers. Um, and then our current uh, team of athletes, Corinne Sutton, Monk, Joe Coleman, Monk, vegan monk. He is a beautiful human being. Corinne, phenomenal. If you want to see what results look like after eight years of being vegan, check out Corinne Sutton. Phenomenal physique. But uh, Ella Magers, uh, John Joseph, Ali, Brendan Walsh, what a blessing that I get to work, that I get to call these people friends, that I get to work with them hand in hand at, at, at like the very first World Vegan Bodybuilding Championship. What an honor it was to create that, to be part of creating that and bringing that to the community. <laughs> I am, oh God. All right, I'm not going to choke up. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Got to be strong. I'm a male, right? No, screw that. It's about compassion. It's about extending the love with the plants to everybody I can. That's what I'm about. That's why I do this. Um, and even down to very personally, finding a, a tiny, blind, crippled kitten uh, left for dead by her mother in our, in our shed. And my wonderful wife is an over 25-year vegan bless her heart, picked her up, and we nursed her back to health. And she's the love of our life, our family member now. We put her in, my wife puts her in diapers and changes her diapers every day and and, and washes her little bottom and, and does everything a little child. And she scoots around just using her front paws and sliding on her butt and slides all around the room and hops on the couch and snuggles with us. And God, I love doing that. It's just such a blessing to come from that space and to be able to, to give back in a way um, that contributes. I also want to give a, just a shout out to my, my brother, my vegan twin, Pete Cervoni. Pete, if you're out there listening or if you listen to this later, I love you, brother. And we share March 15th as a vegan anniversary. So blessings to you, my friend out there. And just so many incredible, amazing people out there that I've met on this 36 year journey. From the celebrities to the people behind the scenes that make all these amazing vegan events. God, too many veg fests to even count. All the amazing events um, that have helped promote and educate. Um, so many incredible people along the way that I have so much to thank for, for being a a positive influence for me. 
to um, to being such an incredible force um, for positive change in in the community too as well. It's been an incredible journey of 36 years watching the changes. You know, uh, when I my brother talked to me, he's like, "Oh, you're never going to make any money doing being vegan. You know, you can't get a job. There's no vegan jobs out there." Right? And now to see the vegan industry booming and exploding and, and vegan millionaires. And it, oh, it's just amazing to see people succeeding in life instead of struggling, doing something that aligns with who they are, uh, doing something that really contributes to the betterment of health of humans, of animals, of our environment, reducing pollution, uh, reducing the risk of climate change disasters. God, just so much good. <laughs> Thank you so much for all you have done to influence me in my life. Um, trust that I'll be vegan for life and that I am not a vegan trying to tell you what you should do, what you should eat. What I want to do is hopefully inspire you to make better choices for you and understand how those choices affect the world that we live in, including all the other animal lives that we share this planet with. Thank you for spending some time with me today and letting me ramble on and wax poetic about 36 years anniversary. Just for this month, if you are watching it in the month of March, <laughs> through March 31st, we have 36% off all of our products. Every year I celebrate my big anniversary with that year in percentage discount. Imagine when I get up to uh, uh, <laughs> 50 years as vegan, that'd be 50% off, that's nice. But every year we do this. So it is my way of saying thank you for all that the community has done for me and for the animals and for everybody else's health and well-being. I give you 36% off next year. It'll be 37% off everything in our line. So let's keep this going. Um, yes, it's it's not about making anybody wrong. It's about awareness. It's about coming into a connection with a love that we all share, a love for ourselves, a love for those we care, and extending and expanding that circle of love to reach more and more people and do more good in this world. Thanks for listening. We'll have some great new guests coming up. Uh, we've got an exciting new launch of our vegan D3, the very first pure, 100% pure D3 from organic algae. Again, first to market, and boy, we have a huge announcement to make, but it's gonna be later in this year. But I'm super excited, another breakthrough coming in the um, sports nutrition category, both in um, a pre-workout and another product that I can't talk about yet, but I'm really excited to share it with you. This is what I do. I go out and find these incredible advancements in plant-based and vegan nutrition, and you will find them first here at Clean Machine. I will be the first to bring the market first with the Vegan D3, first with DM3 in, um, in Cell Block 80, first with Mentine, first with Ahi Flower. These are the best that nature has to offer, and you will find them here at Clean Machine. My little baby, my give back to all of you to hope that you can have an enjoyable, healthy, happy, fit natural plant-based life. Thanks for joining me.